Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll show you a supernatural horror film, House on Haunted Hill. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. A TV horror show displays the murders at the Vanicut Psychiatric Institute in the early 90s. The hospital overlooked the sea and was the site of countless murders of patients conducted by the head surgeon, Dr. Richard Vanicut. One day, his patients revolted. They killed the hospital staff and intruded on Dr. Richard, who was busy recording himself killing a patient. They then set fire to the hospital and burned it down. Since then, it is rumored that the restored building, now called the House on Haunted Hill, remains uninhabited to this day, as the spirits of Dr. Richard and his patients still reside inside. Elsewhere, while watching the program from her bathtub, housewife calls her distant husband, Tycoon, an amusement park mobile with a twisted sense of humor. The two are in a loveless and bitter marriage. Tycoon picks up but immediately drops the call as he is being interviewed on the news for the opening of his new amusement park. Tycoon brings his interviewers to experience the new rides. They ride an elevator to board the roller coaster, but it suddenly breaks. As the elevator falls, Tycoon and the interviewers all panic. Just before the elevator hits the ground, the elevator floor suddenly changes appearance and displays the amusement park's logo, revealing that the elevator failure was part of the ride itself. The interviewers continue forward and ride the roller coaster. The rails suddenly break, but this is only a gimmick like the elevator. Meanwhile, Tycoon calls Housewife back. Housewife tells him that she wants to hold her birthday party in the house on Haunted Hill. Tycoon eventually agrees, but shreds Housewife's guest list and starts making his own. He leaves, but the guest list is suddenly modified by an invisible force. The next evening, the four guests, Jennifer, Eddie, Melissa, and Donald, head to the party with their invitations that indicate a million-dollar cash prize each to anyone, whoever manages to survive inside the house on Haunted Hill until sunrise. There, the house owner meets them and asks them to walk the rest of the way as the driveway is blocked. The guests ask house owner why they were invited when they don't even know Tycoon personally, but house owner is also confused. They enter the house. Jennifer starts recording and notices the eerie stained glass on the ceiling. House owner tells them that it has been there since the place was an asylum. They look for Tycoon and housewife who invite them, but they are nowhere to be seen. Finally, housewife walks in and asks the guests who they are. Suddenly, the stained glass above breaks. Eddie runs to save Houseway from the falling glass. Tycoon appears in front of them and welcomes them to the house. The couple starts bickering, and Tycoon tells Housewife that she might be the first to die in the house. The group learns that house owner's grandfather and father both died after renovating the house. Housewife asks her husband where her guests are. Tycoon tells her that he changed the list, with individuals willing to do anything for the cash prize. However, Tycoon adds that the four guests that arrived were not the ones that he invited. They argue, and it is revealed that Houseway tried to kill Tycoon in the past, obviously for the heritage of his money. Tycoon pulls her hair back, but she bites his hand, and he lets go. Meanwhile, an operator watches them through the house's CCTV cameras. In anger, Housewife tells Tycoon that she will get a cab and go home by herself. Tycoon goes down to his guests. House owner demands his payment from Tycoon for leasing the house. Tycoon writes checks for a million dollars for house owner and the guests, but tells them that they will only receive it if they stay the night. If any one of them leaves or dies, their million dollars will be forfeited and added to the pot. Tycoon admits that he doesn't know any of them, but still suspects that his horny wife is the one responsible for the guest changes. House owner refuses to play and demands his payment. He refuses the million dollars and starts to leave, but the house seals itself shut and he is unable to leave. He breaks a window to escape, but is stopped by the iron bars. He tells the guests that the lockdown is an old mechanism created by Dr. Richard to prevent his patients from escaping. According to that tragedy, everyone in the hospital died together in the fire, except for five staff members. Further, house owner tells them that the house is alive and that they are all going to die. They try to call for help, but there is no signal. Housewife arrives later and blames the lockdown on Tycoon. Donald tries to get Tycoon to undo the lockdown, but Tycoon denies responsibility for it. Eddie and Jennifer ask house owner how to release the lockdown. They discover that there is a control room in the basement. Housewife warns them against Tycoon's surprises and tells them to bring a weapon. Tycoon opens a nearby cask and pulls out handguns from it. Housewife points a gun at her husband to see if they work, but she stops herself and gives it to Eddie. The three guests leave for exit, while Tycoon excuses himself. On the way to the basement, the group runs into horrific statues inside glass cages. They continue walking, but the ceiling suddenly breaks. Eddie pulls Jennifer back in time to save her. Meanwhile, the operator watches the group from the surveillance room. 
He applauds himself for having spooked the guests by making the concrete fall. Tycoon enters and scolds him for locking the house down without his permission. The operator tells Tycoon that he wasn't the one that did it, and it just randomly happened. So Tycoon turns to blame his wife. While leading them to the control room, house owner tells the group that the basement hasn't been renovated since the fire. Tycoon suddenly appears from nowhere and joins the group. They see an old metal door behind a broken brick wall. But house owner tells them that it isn't the control room. While they walk away, blood and a strange shadow appear on the metal door. While looking for the control room, they find an electroshock therapy room, as well as a saturation chamber where Dr. Richard exposed his schizophrenic patients to images and weird noises in order to cure them. Eddie and Jennifer get separated from house owner and tycoon. Jennifer manages to turn some lights on, while fiddling some exposed wires. While looking around, Eddie asks Jennifer who she really is. She admits that she's Sara and not invited, but just pretends to be the one on the guest list for her boss, Jennifer. Sara then continues looking, but when she turns around, Eddie is missing. She sees a figure moving to the side and chases it. She finds Eddie at the end of the hallway, silently staring at her. She follows him into a morgue, where she sees his body shaking demonically. She looks again and finds Eddie standing in front of a tank of blood. Eddie jumps into the tank and Sara rushes to save him. Sara starts getting pulled in, but the real Eddie appears in front of her, and she is able to free herself. They return upstairs and question Tycoon about his twisted plans, but Tycoon tells them that he was with house owner looking for the control room. He tells them that the control room doesn't exist. Meanwhile, Melissa wanders into the basement to record the house on camera. She finds an operating room and starts recording. She sees Dr. Richard operating on his patients on the camera screen, but they mysteriously disappear when she puts the camera down. She turns around and finds the ghost of an old patient. The ghost rushes at her and kills her, ending her vlogging life. The group hears her scream and goes down to the basement. They find Melissa's camera next to a trail of blood. Back upstairs, Sara reviews Melissa's recording. They watch as Melissa is mutilated by an unseen force. Housewife suddenly arrives and asks her husband how he managed to kill Melissa. Housewife points a gun at him, but Tycoon shrugs it off as he thinks that the gun isn't loaded. She shoots the glass behind him and goes up to her room. Tycoon then tells the group that he loaded the gun with blanks. Tycoon goes to the operator, but is startled to find the operator's face mutilated. He looks at the cameras and sees Dr. Richards' ghost walking towards Housewife's room with a weapon. Tycoon rushes to the basement. Eddie and Sara try to pry a window open, but to no avail. House owner looks for a drink, while Donald continues looking for Melissa. Suddenly, the lights start turning on and off. The group finally meets in the basement, and they find Housewife tied to the bed inside the electroshock therapy room. The electricity turns on, and Housewife gets electrocuted. The group tries to turn the current off, but cannot find the right switch. They later turn it off, but Housewife is already dead. Tycoon points a gun at the guests, as he suspects that one of them killed his wife. Sara also points a gun at him, as they suspect Tycoon himself. Eddie manages to knock Tycoon down, and they lock him inside the saturation chamber. Donald is left to guard Tycoon. Tycoon requests that he open the door immediately, but Donald turns on the machine and walks away. Inside, Tycoon gets traumatized by the moving images and horrifying sounds. He hallucinates getting drowned in a tank as one of Dr. Richard's patients. When the dying woman inside becomes a horrifying monster, Tycoon breaks and goes unconscious. Meanwhile, Eddie and Sara stumble upon Dr. Richard's old office. They are shocked to discover that all of the invited guests here, except Donald, are distant relatives of the five staff members who escaped the hospital fire in the past. Right then, house owner enters and tells them that the house itself was responsible for changing the guest list. Donald walks into the electroshock room where housewife's body is. He wipes the blood from her face and suddenly kisses her. He caresses her body, but stops and injects her with a drug. However, housewife suddenly wakes up and give him a tongue massage feedback. It is revealed that Donald and Housewife conspire to scare the guests into killing Tycoon themselves. However, they both start worrying after realizing that neither of them was responsible for Melissa's sudden disappearance. Housewife gets frustrated because the guests are not scared enough to kill her husband yet. She suddenly stabs Donald and kills him, intending to pass the blame on to her husband. She then pulls Tycoon out of the saturation chamber and puts Donald's corpse inside. Elsewhere, the group waits for Donald when he doesn't return. They go to the basement to get him, and house owner finds a new blood trail as well as a bloody weapon. The group suspects Tycoon and returns to check the saturation chamber. When they open it, they find Donald decapitated inside. They now believe that Tycoon is the murderer. Sara goes to look for Tycoon, but she suddenly hears Melissa's voice. She follows it, and Tycoon randomly appears in front of her with bloody hands. Tycoon tells her that he woke up on the floor and that it was Donald's fault. 
Takuma asks for her help, but Sara doubts his innocence and shoots him dead. Eddie and house owner arrive, and they all leave the basement together. After they leave, housewife suddenly appears and says a hateful farewell to her husband. She tells his corpse that she only married him for his money. Suddenly, Tycoon starts choking housewife. He throws her against the wall and reveals a bulletproof vest underneath his shirt. He tells her that he will really kill her. He throws her against the metal door behind the brick wall that the group passed earlier. However, the door breaks, and housewife lands inside a mysterious room. A shadow suddenly sweeps across the floor toward housewife. Tycoon is surprised, as this is not part of his plan. Housewife stands up, but gets pulled by the shadow into the wall, where her body rapidly gets destroyed. Tycoon accidentally finds a cabinet with Melissa's body parts inside. A dark shadow calls to Tycoon, using Housewife's appearance, but Tycoon runs away in fear. The shadow chases him, but he cannot escape, as the door to the lobby is locked. Tycoon screams at the other guests to open the door. The remaining members of the group are trying to open a window, when they hear Tycoon's voice, they become confused, as they believe that Tycoon was killed by Sara. House owner opens the door and sees the shadow. However, Tycoon dodges the shadow, and house owner is the one that gets dragged down into the basement. Tycoon shuts the door behind him and runs. He tells Eddie and Sara that the house really is alive, and runs to the attic. Meanwhile, Eddie and Sara watch as the shadow approaches them, and the corridors start growing monstrous teeth. The shadow disappears for a second, but the ground starts erupting, and they run away. Tycoon reaches the attic and finds a lever to release the lockdown. He tells Eddie and Sara that he has found a way out. They run upstairs, while the shadow takes on Melissa's appearance to try and convince them into staying. The shadow climbs up to the attic and goes to attack Sara. However, Tycoon pushes her out of the way and saves her at the cost of his own life. His body is quickly mummified, then destroyed by the wind. The shadow destroys the pulley keeping the window open. Eddie helps Sara get out, but the window closes before he himself can leave. Inside, Eddie faces the shadow, which displays the faces of its many victims. They blame Eddie for the crimes of his ancestor, who helped Dr. Richard torment patients at the hospital. Eddie admits that he is actually adopted, but it seems not working. Right as the shadow is about to attack Eddie, house owner's spirit appears and opens the window. The sunlight pours in and hurts the shadow, allowing Eddie to escape. House owner lets the window close behind them. Eddie and Sara sit on the windowsill, while the sun rises over them. Sara finds an envelope on the ledge beside them. Eddie opens it, and they find their prize money inside, in the form of multiple million-dollar checks. While celebrating their survival, they wonder how to get down from the very top of the asylum. Meanwhile, Tycoon and his wife's spirits are left to be tormented forever by Dr. Richard and the rest of the spirits inside the house. This is Daniel's CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.